Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 25 of the Mobile Networks Overview course. In this episode, I want to talk about IMS call flow and some basic uh, signaling uh, scenarios in the IMS and Volta. As you know, and we discussed in the previous uh, episodes, uh, uh, Volta voice over LTE, uh, Volta is voice over LTE uh, that uh, use uh, IMS, IP Multimedia Subsystem uh, for handling call over IP and handling voice over the LTE network which we have discussed the LTE network and EPC Evolve Packet Core in the previous episodes uh, the first scenario that uh, I want to talk about in this episode is registration IMS registration okay uh, it has uh, multiple steps and we will go through the first step the user equipment as you can see send a, a register to PCSCF uh, we have discussed uh, all of the functions of these network elements uh, CSCF, HSS, DNS and all of them in the previous episodes uh, then after this uh, after this sending the register to proxy CSCF uh, the second step is that PCSCF will send a DNS query to the DNS server because it uh, want to find the ICSCF interrogating CSCF then when it find the IP address it will send the uh, um, register to this ICSCF then ICSCF will send uh, will send uh, uh, in this step step 4 5 uh, it the name is uh, SCSCF assignment uh, based on the user equipment capability the HSS uh, will find a proper SCSCF for serving this user equipment okay so uh, it, it will send this request to HSS and uh, then uh, it will uh, send back the uh, proper SCSCF address to this ICSCF then the register will go to this SCSCF and also uh, in this step uh, the user profile uh, the auth sorry the authentication set will send to this SCSCF but in this step it will not send the, all of the information to the UE because maybe this is not a legal, uh, not a legal uh, user equipment, maybe an attack. So it will send back a 401, which means unauthorized. Unauthorized to this. All of these, uh, these uh, messages are SIP, Session Initiation Protocol, which I've discussed in some episodes. Uh, earlier then it will send 401 uh, to this to PCSCF and then to this uh, right now the, the first step of uh, authentication will be done so in this step we uh, can find that it is a, a legal network so it will trust and then it will send it, it, its information uh, and uh, the uh, detail of the security is uh, a little complicated you can see in some documents or you can email me and I will send you some uh, good resources to you but it is a high level uh, picture and this is a high level description about uh, what it is happening but it's not very complicated it's very simple and it is very easy no, uh, no, uh, no more uh, complexity so uh, this it was the first uh, uh, initial steps and this is the uh, second step so uh, the user equipment will send uh, some information uh, and also uh, the related authentication information sent back to this and again SCSF assignment will be happen here then uh, in this step uh, when uh, SCSCF find that it is a uh, when HSS find that it is a legal uh, UE and the authentication is done so 
it will send a user profile to SCSCF then this step uh, means that the authentication was successful and user has been registered successfully then a 200 OK SIP message uh, will send from SCSCF to ICSCF and also from ICSCF to PCSCF and uh, finally to the UE and here the UE is attached and registered in IMS network okay and here uh, we can also see this uh, scenario in the signaling flow uh, many of these uh, call flows in other scenarios we have worked in the previous uh, episodes and it is I think it's really easy for you to understand uh, here we can see that uh, as I told you before this uh, UE send register to PCSCF and DNS query for finding the ICSCF then these are the steps uh, that I discussed earlier here in this episode and it's on this signaling flow and from this ICSCF uh, the, as you see this is a diameter mes message UAR uh, to the HSS for SCF as SCSCF assignment uh, this is a uh, very important and also uh, this is the uh, diameter message then uh, download the authentication sets from the HSS with MAR multi, uh, uh, with MAR message uh, and then uh, maybe I remember that uh, MAR was uh, multimedia authentication I, I don't remember I can we can uh, we can check this we can check this SIP MAR oh SIP uh, SIP what uh, sorry SIP uh, MAR not AMR sorry MAR means that oh uh, SIP uh, I think here uh, uh, we can find it uh, MAR uh -huh. Multimedia Authentication Request Okay, Multimedia Authentication Request and this Multimedia Authentication Answer and this unauthorized as I discussed will send back to ICSCF then unauthorized and here uh, authentication response with this register the the second steps uh, again DNS query for finding the ICSCF sending the register here uh, UAR and UAA as you can see in this uh, in this RFC UAR is user author authorization request RFC 4740 user author, uh, authorization authorization request uh, and here we can see user author, authorization request and the user authorization answer okay then uh, here uh, the authentication sets are sent to the HSS and HSS is uh, found uh, found that the user is legal and uh, can be registered so it will uh, it will send the profile, the user profile, to the SCSCF download service profile, and the service profile will, da will download it from HSS to SCSCF, and it will acknowledge with SAR and SAA. As you can see in this RFC, SAR is service server assignment request. Then uh, uh, 200 OK uh, in the in the meaning of successful register will send uh, will send to these nodes and finally to the UE that here the UE is, re is registered successfully in the IMS network okay so let's have uh, let's have a see on some uh, basic call scenarios here uh, we can see that uh, two uh, IMS one for example a SIP phone and one a UE Volta uh, uh, phone 
uh, one, want to call each other uh, we can see that an invite an invite will send uh, to this PCSCF invite here again and to this ICSCF ICSCF always do the HSS inquiry so it will uh, query from the HSS uh, and it shows that uh, maybe uh, these two uh, these two are belongs to two different network operator because you see here it doesn't go through the HSS A and it will ask from HSS B or maybe it is belong to another HSS maybe the network is very big or some other scenarios so after this uh, it will send the information of uh, this subscriber to ICSCF then it will send the invite to the proper to this uh, to its CSCF B and it will receive and it will receive by the UE then uh, it will send a provisional egg uh, 183 for trying and then ringing will happen and finally the media uh, uh, will be sent through RTP here and here the CP is done and UP is uh, gonna be okay here also this is a very simple IMS call it is uh, another scenario when the uh, UE when a uh, UE in IMS or, or voltage service wanna call a phone in another network another uh, network for example fixed network like PSTN public switch telephone network uh, again it will send uh, invite CP invite to PCSFA it will also send this to its SCSCF as you can see in the enum uh, which has the role of uh, translating the numbers it will fail because the number is something belonging to another network PSTN and it's not the mobile network it's another network public switch telephone network then it will send its request to the MGCF MGCF may uh, in some in most of the scenarios may convert this signaling to something like ISOP or BIC BICC to send to the PSTN uh, traditional switch and then uh, the IEM initial address message ISOP or BIC will send to this PSTN switch and then will come here and after that the CP is okay then the UP will uh, uh, will happen and these two can have a call together uh, maybe also it can it can also be CIP it's based on the uh, equipment of the mobile network operator and uh, finally the last the last uh, uh, and uh, the same the famous sentence the last but not least is IMS uh, uh, we can see PSTN calling party this is the A, A number from PSTN it is uh, this time PSTN is a calling party and this is this volt number is a B uh, called party as you can see IMS is called party so it will send a request to this PSTN P element switch PSTN switch and then uh, maybe also here is uh, again ISOP in SS, uh, SS7 or Sigteram uh, it depends on the network then it will send the IAM initial address message to MGCF MGCF will convert the uh, signaling to SIP and send this uh, message to ICSCF to integrate the HSS and find the B number. Then HSS will uh, then ICSCF will query from HSS A and send the uh, send its SCSCF address. Then ICSCF will send the invite to this and uh, accordingly to the to its PCSCF and finally the invite message will come to the destination which is B number after ringing and uh, everything was okay then uh, the media uh, will uh, uh, go through this uh, RTP over IP okay uh, in uh, some uh, these are some uh, simple scenarios that briefly I want I wanted to tell you uh, 
and describe for you to have a big picture about uh, mm, IMS uh, some scenarios like registration and also some basic call uh, flows in the next episode I will uh, have a brief introduction about 5G the network elements and the high level topology and its services and uh, maybe it would be la uh, uh, the last uh, episode in this uh, um, introductory sessions and uh, I will start a new uh, journey to my passion which is uh, AI and neural networks in the next series in the a new uh, chapter a new uh, series and a new name uh, and uh, hopefully after the next episode which is uh, 5g we will finalize this introductory uh, course but maybe in the future i also add some uh, con uh, contents to it and maybe based on the uh, technology revolutions uh, at last uh, i thank you for your time i hope that it would uh, it would be informative and useful for you and if you liked it uh, don't uh, forget to subscribe in my channel and uh, introduce it to your all of your colleagues and friends who are interested to, in learning and if you have any questions don't hesitate uh, feel free to contact me have a good time and bye